You filming me? Mark. Yeah. All right. In case you beat me up or something. <laughs> Only a GameCube game that they brought out, he brought out. Pokemon Gale of Darkness. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to hit some garage sales. Good morning. Morning, how are you? Okay. We're already too hot now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't take long, especially yeah. if you're working. Oh, yeah.
Much as this keyboard. Ten. Yeah, there's batteries in it already, but okay. I don't have like the cord, so you'd have to buy the cord to plug it in electrically. Yeah, I gotcha. Does it work? Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. The batteries are in it, so if you want to test it. I believe you. Because I had it already. How much are you? I don't know. Kind of a keyboard player. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, that'd be cool. I used to play with Elton John back uh, in the day. No yeah, kidding. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that'd be way back in the day, I guess. Yeah. I think you look old enough. <laughs> what is this? It's a a Raggedy Ann or something? It's a Nightliner. It's kind of neat. Oh, is there different prices on them? Uh, yeah, I was gonna. Uh, like my, Michael Jackson's like what, what two bucks? And there's a couple of them that's Hall and Oates. Oh, I didn't realize I got two of the same Eagles. Yeah. Ones. You I'll put one this one back. Take this one that's sealed and put that one back. Yeah, yeah this one's still sealed. Uh, like these. These are only like $2. And Van Halen's like 3 Where's Van Halen Is at? that okay? Where's Van Halen at? Oh, Kiss. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I don't know my bands, do I? All right. Those are like three for the, the Prince and Michael. Queen. These are like, this is like four. These are three. I give three. I give you that for three. That's four. So just do like 20 for them? Three. Does that yeah. sound good? Three, six. About 25. Have all of them for 25. Even these. I'll do this for 25. Just do five on this? Uh, 30 for everything? Uh, it's kind of tough. How about 10? That's what we started at. Oh, I thought it was, I thought it was 15. <laughs> That's what we started at was 10. <laughs> 32 bucks made me feel like I got a deal. All right. That's seven bucks, I guess. Yeah, that's okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Alright, let's see what we got. 20. There you go. Alright, thank you very much. Thank you. You need a bag for any of that stuff? Nah, I'll stow in the back of the car. Yeah. Hello. Hello. I'm Jeremy. This is my wife, Sam. Nice to meet you. We're Mike and Jenny. <laughs> it is collecting sawdust. <laughs> Guys, don't have any old video games or cards or action figures or anything, do you? No. No. There's what we got out there right now. Okay. At this point, all my games are digital. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You ain't got no old ones? Like old, maybe old 360. Yeah, anything old. Old Nintendo, Game Boy, 360. 
I've got some old uh, N64. Oh, I'd love that. Yeah? Yeah. What stuff do you not have? Uh, I don't know. I just, I usually just buy anything, really. I probably got a couple games I can get rid of. I keep the old ones like Legend of Zelda and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, definitely. What's he doing, Poppy Dog? What's he doing? He's a good boy. He's a good girl. He's a good girl boy. I don't know. That's all right. I'm just picking this up. Well, yeah. It's a oh, I hate them bugs. I hate them. <laughs> I hate them sons of bitches. <laughs> One whacked me in the head a little while ago. <laughs> I wonder if there's any kind of lawsuit you can. <laughs> he probably hurt himself. <laughs> That's Jason selling oh, me GTA. Yeah, right now, Fallen New Vegas and Battlefront 2 for this one's Xbox One. Okay. I'll give them both five bucks. What about this N64 stuff? She's still looking for it. Gotcha. Let me remind her actually. Hey Sam, can you go over to the corner near the bridge and, and see if my N64 games are out? Yeah. I'm gonna put the puppy dog some more. I'm just gonna put the puppy dog some more. Okay. He's a good boy. Oh my gosh, he's gonna jump. He's gonna jump. <laughs> Don't jump down, you hurt yourself. Okay? Don't hurt yourself. I'm cleaning my watch. I didn't even think about selling them. You gotta try to dig them up. Oh, that's okay. I understand. There's somewhere in there. <laughs> What's your oh. dog's name? Hello. How are you? That's Charlie. Charlie? He's a year Charlie. and a couple months. <laughs> he's a good boy. He's a good boy. You giving me a bath? You saying I stink? How much are these? Um, she has. Oh, she does. How much for the game? Three bucks. Three. You have any older stuff? Old Nintendo or anything? I sold all that already. Did you? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I had uh, two NES systems. I had a Super Nintendo. Oh, did they? No, I, oh. like six months ago. <laughs> yeah. I was like, dang. <laughs> yeah. My neighbor right over here, he actually had the NES system in the original box. Oh, yeah? That's Still cool. Wrapped. I was like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my, my 360 got the red ring. I couldn't... I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I had that problem a couple times, man. Yeah. I had the original Xbox, I had the 360 Slim, and then I had, I got the One X upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. So do two a piece? Yeah. yeah. Right, cool, man. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Any more stuff like this, like old micro machines and action figures or anything? Yeah. No. No. I wish. All the ones I'm, I got some pretty, pretty old ones, but I'm gonna keep them for myself. <laughs> yeah, I got you, man. Yeah. I collect all that stuff too. Yeah, I'm like sorts of all sorts, you know. How much is this stuff? Like the stuff? Like a buck. Right. Like two bucks for all of it. Is that? Kind of cool. Did you say two bucks for that stuff? Yeah.
year round. Whatever that is, I want to move. I think your sign's down right here. Is it? Yeah. The white one? Yeah. The orange one, the green one. Just no I'll be. I'll go back down there and put yeah, the it's laying on the ground down there. So. You feel the meat, Mark? Yeah. All right. In case you beat me up or something. No. I just want to know so I don't say <laughs> bad words on, on, on your on, on your camera. Yeah, I got a YouTube channel where I go to garage sales and stuff. <laughs> and I'll film it. I said that way I won't, won't say nothing. <laughs> it's all right. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, he was a smoker for a long time, but this some of those lighters and stuff in there are brand new. Oh yeah. Admits. Something just died in April. All this crap, all that stuff. Oh, yeah. All this stuff was in his, in his apartment. Mm -hmm. Just trying to make a little money for her. You have any old video games or sports cards or anything, dude? Yeah, brother. Don't, nothing, nothing. Okay. Got a bunch of DVDs I found, but some of them are brand new in there. But gotcha. This is the price. Is the price what you got on the little tags? Like, I don't know whether that's some kind of system. Or yeah, mostly, yeah. So that's three? Yeah, the DVDs are three of these. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How much is this stuff? Now, Hello? What it? What do you want to give me? Three bucks. Five bucks. Four bucks. Six bucks. Seven. Five, <laughs> Five bucks you got deal. Alright. Put me on that YouTube channel. <laughs> Come on, I said, remember I'm trying I'm trying to help a widow here. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm trying to help a widow lady. I got you, man. Of, of 32 years. Her, her husband died. Right. 32 years in April. Uh, so I'm just trying to make a little bit of money for her. Is this for sale or? Just it is. How much? Well, you 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 can't you, you you don't want it. You I don't want it. Yeah, you you, you want to drill it way down. 25 bucks. He paid 159 dollars for it. All right, how about two bucks? Just kidding, man. <laughs> That's a good it, price, it, though. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it 25 it bucks the, is a good it, price. Got the pool thing where it flips down and it's it, it, it's yeah. You know what I mean? I, I moved everything with it here. I mean, yeah. it is a heavy duty. I mean, it's not a name brand, obviously. It's not Stanley or anything, but. Yeah, it's a, it's a good price. I'm out by it. There's the man. Oh, you got the Super Nintendo. Five bucks. Oh, shit. The guy was like, how much you give me? I was like, five. He was like, yeah. Oh, I'll give it 20. How you guys doing? All right, how are you? Pretty good. Good. You got any older video game stuff at all? Like, what are you talking about? Like, Nintendo, uh, Game Boy. Oldest we got is 
PS2, PS1. Got it. Can you bring it out? Be interesting. Good movies. Huh? Oh, okay. The killers. Rage cut up, bang the murder man. Oh, the faces of that. Ooh. Oh, cool. That sounds good. Cool. Appreciate you burning them out, man. These are older uh, uh, computer games. Oh, uh, them are Sega games, though. Yeah, Sega. Yeah. Them are Sega. And them are cool. Yeah. Are those the Sega games you were talking about? Yeah. Okay. Dollar a piece or sits for five? Okay. We'll take them off for 10 bucks. Off for 15. Yeah. See the Fishner? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was a 10 or 15 for all <laughs> All right. I got some movies so far, but I'm still looking through them. What's the movie sale, uh, Heather? Heather. Six for five. Six for five. Six for five or dollar piece. Yeah. Right. So, Lois, you go on the PS3. Make an offer. You know if it works for sure? Huh? You know if it, it works? works? I just, I have an Xbox One. Yeah, so I do too. I don't really have a use for it. I'd do 25 on it. That's about as much as I'd want to pay, really. So I said the lowest I would go for the whole set would be 50. Yeah, I hear you, man. I'm sure somebody will pay it sooner or later. Got PSP, I'd, I'm interested in that if you want to sell it. Well, I couldn't find the chart. Okay. But I saw all this for like 12, 15 bucks. It's original. Yeah. First gen. I think it still works. It does. I know it needs the charger. Yeah. I just can't find the charger. But I know you can buy them off of Amazon, all that. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I 
didn't go through to see which ones had games that were just upstairs. Most of them don't. <laughs> I'll take like, I know that one has a game, I'll take like five, eight bucks for it. Eight bucks. I'll do five, I guess. Do five. Right. If I get one more movie, we're at 20 bucks. Also, got any old action figures or anything? G.I. Joe's, Ghostbusters, Turtles? Pokemon uh, cards. I got baseball cards. I've seen those. Uh, Pokemon, no, I don't. Uh, I have an old, I have a little PS1. The console? Yeah. How much does you want for that? It works. Uh, has a cord and all that. 15, 20 bucks. I'll probably pass on that. I got a couple of them at my house, actually. Remember the one thing where everybody has one? Yeah. They yep. make so many in there. So oh, cute. yeah. Definitely. Oh, key cars and all that. The model cars. Oh, are they like metal ones? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you meant ones you put together. Yeah, yeah I'd be. Yeah, I'd look at those. My phone's pretty good. I was on my board. All right, well, let me uh, pay you for this stuff. These games are 10, movies were five, and that's yeah. five, right? Yes. Right. It's 20, right? What's up, guys? Shad Juice here. I'm going to show you what I picked up at the Chevy at Community Sale. This was also the same day as the reseller rally, but I'm filming this a little bit later. I didn't get to do it that weekend. So the reseller rally was awesome. It was so much cool people there it was so nice meeting everybody i made some new friends got to talk to some people i've been watching on youtube for years people that watch my videos came up and talked to me it was really nice meeting everybody and definitely got to thank john cincinnati picker lonnie at shed flips pete at craigslist hunter and ronnie at heart pickers for putting that all together and everybody else that helped man it was an awesome time can't wait till the next reseller rally but let's get into what we picked up at the garage sales that day. There was a ton of garage sales going on, so I didn't really run anybody on my side of town that went to the rally. So I know Ben was over in the same area I was. He found tons of good stuff, and I did too, and I didn't even see him. So it was kind of, it's weird how that works. But uh, the first sale here, got some records, and we got this Yamaha keyboard it's new it's in the box it's got the bag that it goes into i'm thinking i could at least get 50 60 bucks for that and then we got some records we got a 45 and michael jackson pyt we got a prince when doves cry and uh let's go crazy from prince and the purple revolution then we got some uh, regular vinyl we got queen the game Kiss Destroyer, which that one's in good condition. We've got uh, Kiss Double Platinum. Hall and Oats H2O. I just grabbed this one. Belly Dancer's Favorites. Just took a chance on it. we got got uh, Purple Rain with the, uh, the plastic still on it and the sticker, which is pretty cool. So that should fetch some decent money. Same thing with this Eagles uh, Greatest Hits. We picked up a Mickey Mouse Disco and Sergeant Peppers, uh, Peter Frampton, and the Bee Gees, and a bunch of other people in there. So I think for that lot, it was either 32 or 35 bucks I paid. Can't really remember right now, but that was a good deal, I thought. The Kiss albums definitely pay for that lot. Well, I mean, well, this will pay for the lot too. I uh, grabbed this at another sale. It was only a buck. Got a vintage uh, original Batman Batmobile. This is from like 84 or something, I'm guessing. Yeah, 84. Made in Cincinnati, Ohio at Kenner. If you didn't know, Kenner's from Cincinnati, so it's pretty cool. I know a lot of people have found a bunch. People selling like prototypes of Kenner Star Wars figures and stuff, which is really cool. We got a Jack and Daxter on the PS2. I got this somewhere for a buck. 
Got this Nike Air hat. It's new, but I got it a little dirty somehow. But it's got like this zip on the back of it to tighten it, which I thought was really cool. I've never seen that on a hat. So I would say I'd get 15, 20 bucks for that. I paid two for it. This sale we were at for a while. My wife was looking, my wife actually went with me today, which was really cool. She never hardly goes. It's just timing usually. And Mikey was with his aunt for while well, we were at the reseller rally stuff for the weekend. So we got some time together. We got the incredible hawk clock here, paid a buck. Got this Winnie the Pooh and uh honey little Christmas mini snow globe. Yeah, too many snow globes. There is a snow globe and an ornament, I guess. That was a buck. Got this Avon Musk Marine. I think this goes for about at least 20 bucks. Paid three for it. Got this little uh, Simpson ornaments here. Paid a buck for that too. So it was at six bucks at that sale. This sale, uh, some guy took two games right before I got there and then I found out Ben had been there too and he got the other stuff. He got a Alice, Alice Madness Returns for 360, which is a good game, but this is why I grabbed at that sale. Got a little snap-on drag car. A little snap-on worldwide pin. Uh, there's a couple micro machines. I don't know where the other one went. This little uh, snap-on like pocket radio, radio or one you can clip on your belt or something. And then we got Dead Space 3 and Transformers. I think I paid like six, seven bucks for that stuff there. Another sale, this that guy was a trip that was uh, running the sale. Me and him had some banter back and forth. It was kind of fun. But this is all I got. We got uh, the Indy, Indy Car Races Premier Belt Buckle. Um, I think it has a, a year when this is from. I just grabbed this. I didn't know nothing about it. There's a 1959 penny here. Then we got a vintage uh, C3PO like necklace charm, which is pretty cool. It's from 1977, but it's only worth about 15 bucks. Uh, we picked up Glenn Miller. 10 CD collection, 24 karat gold edition. Everything was in there. Paid two bucks for that. I'm thinking somewhere in between 30 and 50 for that. Picked up a couple of uh, VHS tapes. We got Mall Rats and Hackers. One of the, I think Hackers might be worth a little bit of money. Uh, we got this uh, Baroxo hand soap. This stuff uh, seems vintage. Um, the guy that was running the sale was actually somebody who's watched my videos before. I apologize, I can't remember your name, but it was very nice meeting you and talking with you. And uh, we ended up getting about, we got six of them. And this one for like two or three bucks. So we'll see if we can make some money. This stuff definitely looks old to me, but we'll find out. Sale right here. We got a Pokemon uh, Game Boy bag, which is pretty cool. Probably get 15 and 20 on that. Paid a buck. We also had a couple Game Boy adapters, like screen thing, a charger. And we got this Hot Wheels Dodge Viper. It's a little loose in the box, needs screwed back in. But for the car and the Game Boy stuff, we paid five bucks total, so that was a good deal. This sale, we got some shoes. These were all a buck a piece. We got some Birkenstocks. So it was just the first time I've ever picked up any of those. Definitely got some wear on them. Not sure how much I'll give for them. And we got some Hoka shoes. They need cleaned up. Kind of worn too. But they were a buck. I just couldn't leave them. And then we got these really nice boots. These are Rocky boots. Waterproof. Camouflage. Really nice. They're really heavy. They're size 10. I think my dad wears a 10, 10 and a half, so he might get those. So he'll be happy with that. And then uh, let me clear off this table so I can show you some more stuff. All right, guys, we picked up this uh, Kenwood receiver right here. It's a KR910B. 
I actually can't find no information on this thing. Um, the lady just said make offer. She says it works, but you can't ever believe anybody. I offered five bucks and she took it. Uh, I gotta do more research because I looked on WordPoint and eBay. I didn't see that model yet. But this sale was pretty cool. Got this uh, tech ball pinball thing. Not really sure where exactly that is. I think I looked it up. It seemed to be worth some money. I think it takes has to take batteries or something or maybe it's just oh there's a power cord i don't have but it says it lights up and stuff i'm gonna have to find a cord for it so that's one thing we got to sell we got this old norelco rotor track razor i think that's worth about 30 bucks or so got this old 10 of bouncing balls not sure if there's any money in this stuff that kind of feels like a marble old baseball one i don't know guys is there any money in old bouncy balls probably not but i did pick this up these are all like melted in here <laughs> it's crazy looking but there's some good stuff in here these right here these are frito benitos from uh i think it was the late 60s yeah 68 these are pencil toppers like Frito-Lay mascot uh, pencil toppers. Now we got, I think we had like six or seven of that one. These can go from 20 to 50, 60 bucks, which is crazy. I paid two bucks for this whole 10. There's some other stuff in here. I think that's him too. Some of them need cleaned up. But yeah. Anything vintage could make some, possibly make some money. Not saying everything, but you know that. Not everything, but that's just awesome. Pencil toppers. What if I made over $100 on some pencil toppers? Ain't that crazy? So, there's a bolo for you guys, if you didn't know. Because I didn't know. So, uh, got them. The shaver and the pinball thing. I think it was like around 15 to 17 bucks i can't remember offhand so uh let's get into this last pickup here all right guys it's the next day it got too dark to film the last clip but uh we got two more pickups this stuff right here came from an ask i did get some of it that was outside already came from an ask at around 11 o'clock so it was at least 11, maybe 12 so it's pretty late Guy said he had some PS1 games and some uh, Sega stuff. Brought all this out here. Got Sonic the Hedgehog complete. Quad challenge. And the Lost Viking. Is that complete? No, nah, that's missing the manual. That should be about 20, 25 bucks, I think. I think there's nothing in the loose games. Ugh. Tomb Raider Underworld, SOCOM. Knockout Kings. I think this stuff's just garbage. Ford Racing. Something else in there. Rule of Rose. Nope. Siphon Filter 2. Spec Ops. Need for Speed 3. Gran Turismo 2. Odd World Abe's Exodus 1. Quake 2, I think that's worth a little bit. C12, Final Resistance, Big Game Hunter, and NASCAR Thunder. He charged me 10 bucks for the PS1 and Sega games, which is crazy. He charged me five bucks for this PSP. It's a little rough. I mean, look at all, look at that. Be lucky if it works and needs some serious cleaning. And all these cases were empty except for three. The Call of Duty, the poker, in the DMX maybe. So we're missing Rapala, Twist the Metal, and WWF. So that kind of stunk, but for five bucks, got a PSP and a few few things. We'll have to test it and clean it up. Uh, these are some movies I got. We got uh, the Turtles season four. Turtles in Space, 
the Ultimate Ninja. I'm, probably, I'm gonna keep the turtle stuff. We got Dawn of the Dead. The DVDs were like five, six for five or something. The First Power, South Central. That's a good movie if you've never seen it. This is just a filler to get the six for five. E.T. And there were some faces of death in there. We got the original. And we got volume three. Not sure how I'm going to sell those. But if anybody's interested, you can hit me up on Instagram. Um, and we got some cars he brought out. He took pictures of them before he brought them out. He said 20 bucks. The guy was really nice. And uh, I don't know, man. Some of these are broke. Mission windshields, axles. I don't know if I'm going to make any money on these at all. But we'll... But, uh... They, most of them are Danbury Mint. That one is. Most of the older Hot Rod ones are like these old sedans and stuff. They're a Danbury Mint. That's a Ertle. That's a Ertle. So I paid 20 bucks for the cars. I think all in all. Oh, and then, uh, let's see, 30. I think I spent 40 bucks all together at that house for all that stuff so it wasn't bad and the last pickup came from another ask i got a gamecube uh the two buttons are stuck here and then they brought out a few 360 games and a few game boy games we got a uh, tomb raider and harry potter and the game boy color fallout new vegas bioshock and the only gamecube game that they brought out he brought out Pokemon Gale of Darkness. And this game is super complete with the inserts and everything. That should fetch around $200 in the market right now, which I think is insane. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. What was the coolest thing I picked up? Probably that Pokemon game. <laughs> it's crazy how high Pokemon stuff and GameCube is. Anyways, but uh, appreciate you guys watching. Smack that thumbs up for me. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace out.